If it were true, what would you do next? June 24, 2013 Please accept our congratulations on passing another important marker on your way to higher awareness, greater consciousness. Although you will certainly not feel any different today than you did last Friday, we can assure you that you are. Each day, hour, and minute that you spend now in the energy field that currently surrounds you sees your entire being becoming more able to contain the higher frequencies that are necessary for your further growth. There are those around you who do not choose to believe this is occurring. There are those who follow these messages who still think there is nothing happening to themselves, only to others. But, as we have previously stated many times, this energy is having its effect upon everything. We do, however, agree with them in this way. Were they to open themselves to what is possible at this time, welcome the change that is possible for themselves, and feel gratitude for all of it, the potentials for greater and faster manifestation of the life they profess to desire would, as you like to say, knock their socks off. You can have a little, if that is what you will allow, or you can have a lot. Your wishes will be honored at all times. If you are in conflict about what you wish to allow, you will be given that which you can accept. And, as always, dear friends, you will see what you believe. It is therefore high time for you to clarify, for yourselves, what it is you do believe and what you do desire. When we have taught you that you are the co-creators of your lives, it was because it is fact. If you look around you, you will have no problem seeing that in your outside world. Is that not true? Is it not natural then that it be true for you, as well? It is true that you were taught that you did not have such power. And your creation was therefore unconscious. Now you are being told that the power is yours. Build the rest of your lives with conscious intention. We say this not to bring forth any guilt, blame, nor any negative feelings whatsoever. We say it to get you to begin imagining the possibilities that now exist for you. It is not that the manner of creating has changed, it is that your creative energy is being upgraded from regular to high octane. Do not ask us to prove that to you. Look inside and prove it for yourselves. If you do not know it already, play the game of if it were true. If it were true, what would you do next? Beginning that process by declaring your intention and gratitude to that which you call your creator would not be amiss, but start out and see where it will get you. You will astound yourselves. Asking your guides and angels for help is also a good idea, especially if you believe we exist. Yes, we are smiling at that. We live for that possibility, dear friends. It is not necessary for you to be in dire straits before we step in. Just ask. And one more thing, please begin to consider forgiving yourselves for being who you are. We promise you are each amazing miracles. We love you dearly. We will speak again soon. Good day. Archangel Michael. Channeled by Ron Head. Oracles and Healers.wordpress.com